Hello, party people, and welcome. It's Star Danielle. If you like good food, good mukbangs, and cute girls, then stick around. Today, I'm doing a seafood boil. Happy Memorial Day. I got some head on shrimp, crawfish. That's it. Like, so let's get into these groceries. Everybody has to eat. Real talk, I was going to mukbang some barbecue for y'all. I grilled. Honestly, I'm just tired of the barbecue. I might eat it later, but I couldn't come on here and just be like, oh, ooh, it's so good, which it is good, but I already had it like a couple of times. So I was like, I'm going to do some seafood because I would, you know, really enjoy that. So how are you all today? Are you all off today? Are you working today? I know everybody, you know, don't have that luxury mm. of being off, especially if you are like in the medical field. Mm. But I have been extremely late. We bike. Anyway, um, I feel like my food ain't hot enough. Mm, that sucker good. But um, I've been really laid back this weekend, chilling, watching movies. I don't even watch movies like that. Maybe Netflix had me on a chokehold. I watch this movie called Ava. It's uh like you like that action assassin type storyline. Love those. I started watching a movie called Kate, same type of thing. What they call a strong female lead. And the assassin game. Oh, shoot. I've been watching a series um, on Netflix called Beef. It's really good. It's um an Asian cast. I, that's, that's very refreshing to see. But, yeah. Mm, straight bum status, you know. Mm. I have Caesar this weekend. <laughs> Y'all see it. Mm. He's gone now. He went home. Yesterday morning. If we don't know, Caesar is my nephew poodle. My poodle nephew. It's my sister's um, son. <laughs> and, you know, if she goes out of town or she got something to do, honey. She's like, can you watch him? <laughs> of course. Bring my poodle nephew over here. And that is my baby. That's all I've really been doing. I did cook on the grill. I had made some barbecue beef back ribs. Um, hamburger, hot dogs, chicken sausage, mac and cheese. I wanted some artichokes on the grill, but the store didn't have any. I wanted to try that. I ain't even used the lemon chow. Your potato. Look at potato. Y'all say potato? Oh, here it is. I'm trying to get down in this sauce. There we go. All right, let's see the airport. Mm. Mm. 
Are you all cooking today? Did you already cook this weekend? You going over your neighbor's house, your uncle's house, your auntie house? Why are you still eating leftovers? But sometimes, you know, people cook like on Saturday or Sunday. And then chill out on the actual holiday. We might be out of town. I mean, I like the holidays. Because everybody's kind of out of town. They were like, why you have this lipstick on? I like it. It's pretty. I'll have to take it off though. It's just um Fenty. It's Fenty. I forgot it's like ours. Some kind of letter um name for it. But I love my red lipstick, honey. I mean, anywho, I need to finish watching that movie Kate that I started because I didn't finish it yesterday. I guess I'll watch that when I'm editing this and uploading because it take a minute to edit and upload. It'll take like an hour and a half to edit and upload these videos. Oh, I did finish watching Power of the Book of Ghosts with Tariq and Lorne, Autumn Catch. Power is so out of control. But before I start talking about that, I've been seeing interviews with Omari Hardwick. You know, ghosts. The man who play goes saying why well, he didn't get paid adequately as far as what he thought he should get paid. Who oh, asked <coughs> Oh, bless me. Sorry if I just bust your eardrum. He didn't even get to direct a um, Peach Punch Men and Made. He didn't even get to direct a uh, episode. And like Amari Hardwick, he's not like no beginner. He's been in the game for a minute. Like I would really wanted to see what an episode directed by him would look like. I really would. So, and like that franchise is built off his back. Like, So many shows. My dang clock is gone. So many shows have, um, you know, has spinoffs because of this franchise. Oh, what's that show? And I think he acted the hell out of ghosts. Like, I think it was amazing what he brought to that character, what he did with that character. It's like, mm -mm. 
When you see a show or a movie, and you can't imagine any other actor or actress playing that role, you know that person has done an excellent job, a phenomenal job. Like, I can't imagine anyone else playing that role, right? Any other character on that show, I feel like, or the people can play that role. But not his role. I think it's very niche to him. Like, he only bring certain things to it that nobody else can. Same thing like Hugh Jackman and Wolverine. We now get into the Marvel conversation. If you know me or know a little bit about me, you know I go up for Marvel. I got a top five of Marvel characters who are on, I call it my list, my hitter list. But Wolverine is definitely number one on my top five. And what Hugh Jackman brought to Wolverine, I couldn't imagine anybody else playing that character. I love Hugh Jackman playing that character Wolverine so much so is I would just rather them kill the character off and then replace him with another actor. That's just my opinion. But very happy to hear that Wolverine, you know, I made a phone call to Hugh Jackman. I was like, hey, can you come for Deadpool one more time with my cousin, Ryan Reynolds? And he finally said, yeah, y'all. So you welcome. I'm talking, I'm talking trash. It was Ryan Reynolds who actually got um, Hugh Jackman. To come back for this Deadpool Wolverine movie. I am so excited. Okay, we can talk about that. Anyway. I say I have to say is Amari Hardwick did his thing as Ghost. And I just can't unsee it. He don't he doesn't get his just do like he should, you know? His flowers, honey. His corn. But, yeah. But, anyway. Finally watched the last two episodes. Oh, I got to sneeze again. It's pepper. Mm. Ooh. Don't you hate when you got to sneeze? You kind of got to sneeze and it won't come, but it feels like it's going to come. So, if you watch Power Book of Ghosts, ah, yeah, a shell in my tooth. Yeah, I know. Ugh. That's out of control. We always get down to the wire where everybody's inspired against each other, everybody's for self. It just gets like that. Spoiler, spoiler alert if you ain't watched it yet. Sorry, not sorry. But right now, you know, Brayden and Tariq, yeah, they on the run. Hmm. Not from the law, but from the crew, honey. Everybody gonna turn on Tariq. Except for Brayden. Hmm. But, um... Like Brayden, oh shoot, get my shirt. See the heat. Got too hot for Brayden. I mean, <laughs> Brayden, you done killed your uncle, honey. And I'm like, Tariq, you will quit now? Like. It ain't no coming back. You're going to push your uncle off the building, child. 
You know, I got stuff all down here. But anyway, one thing I just wanted to focus on. Okay, first of all, let's back up. It was so good to see Tommy. Tasha, two bit. Baby, I was just. Oh, Angela, um, sister, what's her name? Roz. It was just good to see these people, you know? It just gave that old power feeling back, but you know, it wouldn't be, you know, power without ghosts. I was waiting for him to come on the screen, but I knew he wasn't, honey, from these interviews he was doing. But it was good to see them. It's so funny how you can really love someone, like family, and y'all get into it. Excuse me, real bad. <laughs> I get you it real bad. Like Tasha and Tasha, Tasha and Tasha, Tasha and Tommy get in, got into it. Try to kill each other. But anyway, but like when it's all said and it was like, yo, we fam, like let's stop doing this. Let, let, we don't, we don't lost so many people. Let's not lose each other. And tell me he's, his character is he just always wanted something for himself. Like a family. Like him and Ghost were best friends. Part of the Ghost had a wife, had kids. And Tommy wanted that. He did. But he either took it away from for himself, from himself, or somebody else took it away from him. But he always wanted that. So he was telling Tasha, she was like, I just so much I got to tell you. Because, you know, he had his own show called Force, I think. Yeah. He was like, I got a brother. I'm a real uncle. Like, that meant a lot to him. Because, you know, you know, Tariq and Tariq's sister and brother was like, he, you know, called him, called them his nieces and nephews. But, you know, it wasn't blood. But to find out he had, like, a blood brother. And, you know, blood, um, a blood nephew. That was, like, crazy for him. It's like, I just want to roll, roll one and drive around the city with you. It's so much I got to tell you. <laughs> but anyway, everybody will turn down to Rick. So, you know, power gets... In the point where everybody starts looking out for numero uno. Whether it's about revenge, whether it's about money, or not getting in trouble, like, you know, getting locked up or whatever. And things got really heavy for Tariq, as other characters. You know, Tariq has been in this space where he has been looking out for what he called the family like can't F you Brady um Drew Diana because you know they were all like you know one go down all of them go down they all did dirt it's all connected well, since the heat got hot he had to, you know, stop looking out for himself. And he carried him a shaky rail. Now Effie and Diana both have feelings for three. I don't know how deep the feelings are. But they have enough where they will want a future with them. You know, Tariq was in Italy. We are actually talking about them having a future. That all changed. Hmm. I'm not going to go into it, but watch the show if you haven't. But, um... 
Smooth telling her all day, you know, stuff that the girl want to hear when she with the dude she love. Oh, we got a future. Cool. Diane, like to read, he took her virginity. Or she gave it to him. She gave it to him. He didn't take it. Change my language. So, you know, that's special for a girl. So, um, yeah, so when both of them asked Tariq, like, hey, basically, do we have a future together? And basically, he said, no, <laughs> in a nutshell. That's the mistake he made, honey. Now, y'all may be in the drug game. And y'all may be hard, and y'all may be shooting people, and eluding, eluding the cops and the feds, honey. But at the end of the day, these are still women, Tariq. We have feelings for you. And baby, when you told them that you didn't have no future with them, you didn't have no future with them, or you, you know, you wouldn't even try to think about that kind of stuff. It was like, oh, okay. Well, I know what I got to do. Because I was trying to think back, like, what made them turn? I thought about it. I was like, oh, that, because they both asked them that. But anyway, I'm going to get out of here. So I can go ahead and edit this video and get it out to y'all. Do not... That's not me. I'm, girl, my thing all out of order. Anyway, if you're not a party people or a person of the party, go ahead and check out some of my videos. And if I'm your cup of tea, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. Please hit that thumbs up for the likes. You know, the likes help us out, honey. It helps content creators out. Go ahead and leave me a comment below and share this content. And I'll see y'all in the next one. Bye.